I know. Can you believe this is November? Yeah, actually, you know, we're out in Bremsford today, actually more or less. You know, see, we are, so. Uh, no, I just didn't take it off yet. Yeah, we're below the flight path of the plane. But it's funny, they're coming in the opposite direction, you don't even hear them. Well, you can hear Well, no, you don't. The noise isn't as bad when they come tour over our head. Oh, that's true. Oh, you know what? I don't know. It's probably because they're they're putting a foot on the on the throttle to take off, and they're braking to come in. So, although we did hear yesterday a plane that was coming in way too low, it was way too big, and you could hear the engine stall alarm, ding, 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 the entire way as he's coming in, which must have made the passengers on the airplane really feel secure, hearing what's that noise? Oh, don't worry, we're coming in for a landing. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Talking about oh, Obama's weekly condemnation of our country in front of foreign leaders. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Is that news? Well, it, you know, but well, when he said that we're lazy, we're shiftless, we're no longer capable of doing anything without being prodded by the government. Well, I, I it give me that thought of simply if I was a reporter asking the president of the United States. You know that you uh, if you sincerely want to help our country, you know, uh, change its image and, and grow the economy. And when he says yes, and then then you simply say, "Well, oh, good." Then you've given me my story, Mr. President. Barack Hussein Obama, first Afro-American president of the United States, prompt pledges to resign from office to get this country back on its right footing. Ooh. And then you know that he get he give you the very eye, but nobody is really scared about him doing anything to him anymore. Well, part of it is, is if, he, if he really wants the country to not be so dependent on government, stop having so many government no, programs. He wants, to, he wants them to be dependent. That's what he said. They can't do this without, they can't change the way they are without government. We have been soft and lazy because the government hasn't been prodding them enough. And it's the government that is responsible for all that has happened. Well, no. It, you know, he, he's a constitutional expert that has never read the Constitution of the United States. It says, of the people, by the people, and for the people, not of the government, by the government, and for the government. Uh, well, you know, we just, I just saw Immortals the other day, and it reminds me of where the gods aren't supposed to interfere with yeah. humankind. I know. I know. Does that make you think of the government at all? I know. That's <laughs> right. They always give a, give a government... The, the chance to do something and they will do it. I mean, it's just like the health care thing. It is totally unconstitutional for the government to order anybody to do anything. They say, well, the state governments can order you to have, um, uh, you, know, like, you know, insurance to drive for what if you don't drive. Well, the federal government can order you to have a passport to leave the country. What if you don't leave the country? Well, the federal government can, well, the, most of the things is you don't have to do those things. And Obama thinks the government should have the right to, you know, okay, everyone knows that if the Supreme Court gives him the right on health care, he's got to order people to buy the O, which is a green vehicle. You know what you just made me think of? Because you've been watching all these Oscar screening series, yeah. and Woody Harrelson says in Rampart, how can you cheat on something you never agreed to? That's right. That's the way it is. Uh, it's just um, that, you know, the, the people out there, okay, that... You have a you have a multi-party system in our country. The one party doesn't want the man that they have as president and can't figure out how to get rid of him. And the other party is more concerned about getting a nomination than they are winning the election. It shows neither neither party cares in the slightest about people. I mean, that they everyone agrees that all you have to do to bring the budget into whack is stop spending. That's all you got to do. If you refund, if you if you do nothing but fund things at the same level that when Obama came to office, the budget writes itself. That's how wow, easy it is. You don't have to cut spend. You don't have to cut your budget. You don't have to cut your programs. You just don't spend money you don't have. But but he is lecturing other countries about doing exactly. You can't spend money you don't have. And he also lectures them about you must raise taxes. That is the that is the best way. If you raise taxes on the people that Okay, they're cutting their incomes by about 15 to 25 percent in these countries that are taxing. Well, they attacking, are. And he wants taxes raised in countries that they don't have any money to begin with. So that's his answer. 
is raise taxes and that will solve all the problems. That's the same thing. Is that he wants taxes raised on the very businesses that he said are too lazy to go out and be competitive. Well, until he became president, we were competitive all over the world. We were, weren't we? That's right. We stopped being competitive the day he took office. Because, I mean, the... Uh, I know, we have to wait for the airplane. No, they, they said that he does uh, 30 pages of new anti-business regulations a day. Well, once again, the, well, the United States is lazy and we're non-competitive. Well, the Democrats today are proposing shutting down all layaways in this country now. What are you talking about? That they, yeah, they said that the, the layaway system is not fair to consumers, so therefore businesses that have product layaways, you know, they're, they're going to have to change the way they do business, or we're going to have to are get the serious? Federal Trade Commission involved in it. So. Well, I, do, I mean, first of all, layaways haven't been around, and they started bringing them back. That, so, Basically, this year to encourage spending. Oh yeah. Well, because they said the interest rate on the layaway is so high, it's it's basically ripping people off, and we can't allow that. So they can choose not to do it. They can choose not to do it. Unlike government, like healthcare, which you can't choose really not to do because they're they're going to have a single payer system. But they have decided to go after Walmart and any other business that has a layaway system now. Oh. Right my before Christmas, God. they decided. They're going to have, they're going to have, uh, the Senate's going to have congressional hearings, and what's going to happen is these businesses are just going to say, F you, and they're just going to tell people we're sorry, but, the, but Barack Obama and the Democratic Party says for your own good, you're going to have to get these things the hell out of our stores and pay for them immediately or lose them. Isn't well, that a great? that's really bad. I mean, they did the, all their campaigns on it, and it has been legal. Yeah, well, it's not going to be legal anymore because uh, Schumer, who's the head of the one of the, he's one of these people that helped wrote the, write the bills that basically screwed the consumer on he loans. Really, that really went through. Yeah, they, he's going to. He, he, he said they will either change the way they're doing business, or we're going to have to get the uh, Federal Trade Commission involved and shut your. And I think he's going to shut your f asses down because this is we have to protect the consumer from business. Well, they wouldn't buy the merchandise. It's called, you, you put the stuff in layaway, you know the, uh, X amount of people are not going to um, to come in and redeem them, and they're not going to make payments, not going to do this, they're not going to do that, so you have to, that's basically what they call in the old-fashioned words is a restocking fee. Yeah. Now he said, he's now saying, it's a, it's a charlatan's way of, of ripping off the customers on charging them extra interest. Well, no, it's called a restocking fee. Yeah, because, you know, uh, it, but that every, every every time you turn around, they ask him, oh, you know, they said, if here's the question that one of the people asked the Schumer, which he didn't answer this morning. He said, if this was a, um, if, if Christmas was, a, was something that the Democratic Party supported and they don't support it, would you have the same attitude? And he said, that's not relevant to what's going on. Oh! Yeah, it's not relevant that if they supported Christmas well. It's like they did, that's a question you ask, have you beaten your wife lately? And if you refuse to answer the question, it means you've beaten your wife lately. If you answer the question, you can't win. So he just, it's not relevant. Okay. They put they put taxes on every Christmas tree uh, that is being sold now to promote a green agenda. Which He's going to be called McScrooge. No, not McScrooge. Obama. Obama. Obama's a Muslim, folks. I mean, I as soon as the people out there can get it through their very thick heads, he's a Muslim. He becomes a Christian when it's advantageous to him, which is why the Muslims don't like him either. Okay, Muslims are very firm in their belief. You're either a Muslim or you're not a Muslim. They'll accept you if you want to change religions. They'll accept you wholeheartedly. But this guy, he becomes a Christian when it suits his purpose, and the Muslims don't make... They, the Muslims do have ethics when it comes to their religion. I mean, they flat out don't like Christians and Jews, and they flat out don't like people that they consider to be not one of them. You and know, not one of them, actually, is somebody that's a mixed race. They don't, they don't like mixed races. He also supports gay rights, which they don't support. So, uh, you know, occurring to their favor does no good. Oh, also... Um, and another one of his things to show how the government is going to help people, they made another attack on um, on the oil industry this morning. Yeah, more they're going to have more uh, 
they're going to have to have another review of, an, of more drilling. They, they're going to have an 18 month review of, uh, they're gonna, they want a moratorium once again, even though the courts have ruled they can't have it, on, uh, on oil drilling and other stuff. So. Uh, so Obama can keep his pledge to the left. The left is anti-business, anti-growth, pro-spending, and uh, you know, it sort of makes it sort of ridiculous. I mean, there's a trawler out there with god awful amount of fish, of a bird, so it must be throwing scum over the side. But no, I mean, I, I just get tired of our president condemning this country. And he, they're basically, they came out and right asked, no, I'm just trying to get them off of their, uh, this is what, the, this is the word, I'm trying to get the businesses off their asses and start doing things to help this country. Mm -hmm. Well, part of it is investing in foreign countries, folks. Uh, why would I want to... Okay, it serves the Democrats to, because their people are putting investments in foreign countries. But it doesn't serve us to build... Uh, it, it does not serve the United States to build a car factory in... In, in, uh, in Finland. Firm, no, in, oh, in Finland. We're not making any money. It doesn't serve us to build a car, a car factory in Burma because it's a dictatorship. And this is where he's... A car want, factory in Burma? They want to build a car factory in Burma. The government approved one. It's a dictatorship. It's anti you know, they're basically... The UN even condemns them, but Obama is pushing all of these countries that are dictatorships in the, in the Middle East and Asia for investment in by the United States businesses. Well, like, why? Why would they want to do something like that? Well, because... Here, if you put your money in Burma, you only run the risk of losing your factory. But if you put your money in the United States, we're going to take everything you have from you, including your business. Because, uh, oh, yeah, you think about it like that. remember, Obama is all about privatization of, of businesses. If he, you know, that, it, because the, the businesses the government have control of are not making money. So, but the guy, though, has the total and absolute nerve to sit there and condemn this country again in front of people. We're lazy, we're shiftless. We don't do what is needed to, to make this country grow. But government can help them do it. The government can basically, here's one, I want this money brought back into this country so it can be taxed. Now it's, I want you to take your money that you're not spending here because you're afraid of my rules and invest it in some uh, socialist nation out of this country because they'll help you. No. No, yeah. they won't, and they'll take it over just as fast as our government will. And they encourage, okay, let's just take your money and invest in oil production like Soros is in, in Brazil. We'll give you all the money you need to drill deep sea drilling off of Brazil, but we're not going to help you do it here because we want those people to make the money, not us. Yeah. It's not like they're sending a bunch of U.S. labor over there either. No. We, every time that Obama does something, it costs jobs because he's he's a, he's a socialist. I mean, I don't understand why. Everybody knows the left wing of the Democratic Party are socialists. So what is so Bill O'Reilly? Well, I don't really think we can call him that. Well, because Bill O'Reilly is a bloody socialist also. Oh, he is? Well, okay. He condemns business. He condemns big businesses. He condemns... He's, uh, he's really pro-labor. I mean, he's a, uh, okay, uh, I, I guess yeah, I can try to finish my thing today on Obama, that if the President of the United States would come to Fox News to do an interview and he would bend over and start to scratch his rear end, how long would it take a rally and other people to run to him to scratch his butt? Aww. And who would be the first one to get there at Fox News to do the scratching? And it's not just because he's President. And that's right. It's because they they believe in everything that he says. I mean, everybody with a brain knew a, a socialist is a socialist is a socialist. And a socialist may change their spots, but they can't change the skin they were born in. So I guess, though, until next time, this is old camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more our information, go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us follow our daily newscast in 3D. Oh, yeah, and tweet us, follow us, uh, follow us, tweet us, Facebook. Oh, but we're everywhere we're but Google. Everywhere. We're everywhere but Google Plus. We're I haven't figured out how to use that. Well, so. we're figuring out the best way to set that up. But wherever you are, come follow us. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the Internet.